Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. Just going to do another video. Um, back on a post construction cleaning um, work order. Pretty much with these kind of work orders, you just got to expect to come back. You know, what I do is I kind of just tie in my routine uh, visits in with them because uh, I know he's going to need me to come by and just, you know, do some sprucing and stuff like that. So we did three phases of cleaning and uh, I told him he still needs a final phase where we'll come in and do the exterior windows. Uh, like you see this black stuff right here that's on the outside. Um, of course, we do another sweeping and mopping of everything and cleaning all the surfaces off again. So if you've been watching the channel, you've seen this place before when it was really, really, really bad. Okay, so as you see, it's a lot of dust and everything on the floor. So yeah, that's what I'm here to do. Get all this dust up. I'm not here to do the final clean, just doing um, what I call a, a broom clean. You know, and uh, that's pretty much it. Just want to come by and get all this dust up. Um, I might even apply a, a wet mop to it just to make it look better. I'm not going to mop it with anything like um, a floor cleaner. I'm just going to just mop it with water. And, you know, like I said, that'll definitely get these floors looking a lot better. Uh, so, yeah, just wanted to talk to everybody. Um, good news i was making a little rant about the government and everything like that uh, a few days ago and um basically it, it's about the whole hey how you doing doing a vlog all right so it's about the whole economic disaster you know thing with uh um covid19 and everything like that so i was um doing a deposit on my account last night and I was at the ATM I noticed it was a little bit more than what I had in there I was expecting like a few hundred but it was like two thousand and I was like whoa why is there two thousand dollars in my account you know so when I got home I checked the um, activity and everything like that and it, it basically had a description of S B A D uh, in a space T R E S. Okay. So S B A D, I was like, hold on, that must be small business administration uh department. Um and then the T R E S, I figured that's the treasury. So I was like, wow, you know, that, that actually might be it. So I did a Google search on that uh deposit description and that is what it was. It was the E I D L, I think that's what the abbreviation for it is, E E I D L emergency disaster injury loan or something like that. Um so yeah, uh our company got approved. Um I don't know how much for, but when you see that kind of deposit, um that's the first phase. So according to the website um, I think I posted it on um, our Facebook page uh, for all small business owners. If you know uh, you didn't see that, I, I'm pretty sure you, uh, if you own a small business, you know what's going on in America. So hopefully you've done your due diligence. But I'm surprised that you know we actually got something because you know with my math, I shouldn't have gotten anything. You know, uh, as far as like how much funds was available. So I guess when they did the second uh, round of funding uh, that was approved last week, um, I guess that's where those funds came from. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people, if they didn't get their um, second um, application in, I think like the same day that it came available, the same day the link was unavailable. So it was like only up for a few hours and then after that it was just flooded with applications. So. Um, for all you small business owners out there who did apply, hopefully you'll get yours also, okay? I'm very fortunate and in shock um, that I got mine. So the process was, and I haven't done it yet because I, I did notice it. I was getting like notifications in my email. It was like, um, your business is, what's it called? I'm trying to think what it's called. NAV, N-A-V, NAV. Uh, if you you should have a subscription to them because they kind of monitor your business credit. So it was like, you know, um, a new um, inquiry was on your on your credit report. And, you know, I ignored it because I was like, you know, sometimes um, 
especially now when I um, put in the notification for, um, I want to call it relief, you know, because basically I'm, I'm not paying on any, like, any loan, any, any mortgage payment, any rent payment. I'm not paying that for the next three months because, you know, the economic situation we're in, you know. So there's programs out there that you have to, you know, apply for and call for that I applied for on those days. So um, everything's coming together. Um, but what I'm getting is that once you apply for the EIDL or however you say it, they will run a business credit report. I mean, not credit report, but, you know, they're going to basically run a background check on your business. And I'm fortunate that I did have um, business credit lined up. So if I didn't have that business credit, I probably wouldn't have gotten approved because, you know, that's one of the criteriums um, when they... Um, look at your business for um the loan because it's, it's a loan it's not like free money i mean essentially it's free money but if you read the, fi the fine print you have to be very careful what you do with that money because if they audit you um and they find that you use the money for anything other than um business capital uh basically they can come after you for i think one and a half um yeah i think it's one and a half percent i, I don't know how, how much it I think I might be saying that wrong, or I think it's 1.25 times, not percent, excuse me. I think it's 1.25 times the amount that was approved to you. Uh, so I'm waiting for another letter uh, or email to come in and state, you know, how much uh, we were approved for. And like I said, I just want to get this message out there um, that if you did apply, um, you may have a chance of getting your money. I mean, like, even if you're a freelancer, 1099 workers could apply for this. So as long as you have some kind of proof that you are a freelancer and a 1099 worker, like I said, with a bank account that shows that, hey, my 1099 work goes into this bank account, because that, that's what happened. They just deposited, it was a direct deposit into my account. So I guess they just wanted to run a, a, a business, you know, background check. They ran a credit check. And they also, I guess, looked at my um, my business bank account, and they said, "Hey, well, it's got to be a real business. It's not a fake person just putting in, you know, application." So um, that's good news, and I hope that that you guys get yours also. Um, if you're still watching this, I really appreciate you watching this video. And um, if you're a small business owner, leave a comment if you applied. If you did not apply, um, if you got your funds, if you did not get your funds, because you know that kind of feedback helps people watch these kind of videos and um they want to know you know well did this person get it because for the longest i've been leaving all the comments like i i have not gotten my money like i applied i have not gotten it so now i gotta go to all these videos that i said i have not got my money and post a new response saying hey we did get our uh money at least or at least i got the first part i, I still haven't found out what the total approval was you know i just know that hey if you got the first part you definitely got approved and it's up to um a hundred thousand um, dollars most of the time it's going to be i think a minimum twenty twenty thousand i think that's the minimum they're going to loan out so it is a loan you have to pay back i think the, um, the term is 36 months or something like that um i think it's interest free also after 36 months it might go up but uh, I, I don't know the terms yet. Like I said, I got to wait for those terms to come in uh, the email. Because I would say regular mail, but it's most likely going to be in email format. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, and another, if you're still listening, another thing is that I'm very shocked that I actually filled out my application wrong. I put um, the wrong date. It asked, like, uh, when, how long you've been with this employer or something like that. And I thought it meant how long you've not been working or something like that. And I put the wrong date right there. So, I messed up on my application a little bit and I still got approved. So um, that's another little small bit of information that might help somewhere. All right. Well, um, that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and get to work. I appreciate everybody again watching these videos and I will see you in the next one.